Hi everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy. It is me, it's, it's I, it is I. It's me. I wanted to come to you today and show you a few of my favorite things for this summer. Um, they're not necessarily one kind of thing. I've got some cosmetic stuff, I've got some video game stuff, I've got some technology, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you. So uh, it's gonna be kind of an eclectic video, but if you like the things I like, you're gonna like this. And if you don't know what I like, then just watch and you'll know, and it's gonna be fantastic and you'll love it. It's gonna be awesome. So for those of you that don't know, I'm actually a makeup artist, so I do a lot with beauty products and I, I really, I collect them and I love them and I admire them. So I'm gonna show you a few of those first. The first thing I wanna show you is my new favorite face primer. Uh, it's called Le Blanc de Chanel, it's right here. It's a pretty small bottle, but you don't need to use very much. The subtitle is Multi-Use Illuminating Base. So this, oh, it's so good. Basically, it reflects a lot of light. When you put it on your skin without makeup, your skin looks already way more illuminated. If there's a lot of light on you, a lot of your imperfections are kind of blurred out. The only complaint I have about this is that it only comes in one shade, white. So if Chanel were to make like a champagne or like a gold version of this, they could also, you know, cater to darker skinned people, which I think they absolutely should be doing and I think it's unfortunate they don't. They do have another primer that is like a really tanned deep color that you can use on deeper skin, but it's not the same kind of primer. It's more about glow and it's less about the like radiance and like blurring effect. So. I think they really should try to release one that's better for darker skin, but if you are anywhere from medium to fair, this is going to be great for you. Um, and I, like, I've never liked a primer more than this. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. The next product I have for you is a lip gloss, actually. It's from Urban Decay. This is in the color Kinky. Yeah. This is the high color lip gloss, not the naked lip gloss. So this one has a lot more color and a lot more reflectiveness. Kinky is kind of like a medium brown shade. It's beautiful. And you can see it's got a lot of pigment to it. The thing that I don't like normally about lip gloss, or about, about lip color in general, is that I don't like having a lot of color on my lips. I like it being very soft, and this is the one color I've ever, ever tried where I don't mind it. I actually like the way this looks on my lips as a bright color. It's not really bright, but you know, it's a color, and normally I don't like having color, but I like this color, and that's shocking to me, so I really, really like this. It's really cool. The next beauty product is actually a body lotion. It's from Biotherm, and it's called the BB Milk. Um, instantly beautifying body milk, luminous, even naturally enhanced skin tone. This one, I kind of jumped way too headfirst in at first because I put it on the day I went to the beach, and I was wearing like, kind of a crop top with like a close neck, kind of like this one. And what happened was it kind of transferred all over my clothes. Not fun, but today, for example, I'm wearing this tank top. I could put this all over my arms, and it would look really nice. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. I'm going to show you. Put some on my on my arm here, so you can see it's white right now, right? You can see that it's white. I'm going to blend it in, and you can see it turns to skin tone right in front of your eyes. It's not just clear. I don't know how clearly you can see on the camera, but it's definitely like a richer, warmer, more beautiful version of my skin, and it's just blending right in. And now my skin is so glowy, oh my gosh. The light just bounces right off of it. It's beautiful, I love it, I love it, I love it. You can't really tell the difference between the two sides on camera, but um, if you are looking for something to really make your skin glow and make it more even and beautiful if you're concerned about your skin tone on your body when you're going out with sleeveless shirts or in a bathing suit, this is a really good idea. Um, I would recommend if you're gonna wear it to the beach or like as a bathing suit kind of thing. There is a spray from Urban Decay called the All Nighter Setting Spray and that would keep it on through water, kind of waterproofs your makeup. So I'd recommend using that if you're gonna wear this to a water area. The next beauty product is a hand cream. Um, you might notice I have nails now. I really, for a long time, I didn't have good nails because working in makeup, you use a lot of alcohol and a lot of sanitizers to really make sure everything's clean and that dries your skin out really badly. So I just wasn't up to maintaining nails. I wasn't up to keeping my cuticles nice. But this has really changed the way that I care for my skin on my hands. So it's uh, the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Cream. Softens hands, targets age spots, and strengthens nails. Age spots are not a concern for me right now, but I love this cream because it really, like it's really, it's a nice absorbing texture. It's not incredibly um, thick or creamy. Like it's really kind of a lotion-y texture. It's not as thick as a cream. And it just absorbs beautifully. It smells like citrus. 
Ooh. <laughs> but your hands look and feel very soft and smooth after, and I have not had a problem cuticle since I started using this cream about two weeks ago. So that's a big deal for me because my cuticles used to bleed and they used to be disgusting. I don't know if you guys remember from older videos, but sometimes when my fingers were in the shot, they were not cute. Um, so now my fingers are cute again because I have this beautiful hand cream. So I can wear nails again and I feel so good about it. The last beauty product is actually a fragrance, so it's a perfume. Um, it's by Chanel. It's Chance Au Vive. Au Vive. I actually work closely with Chanel in the store that I work at. Um, so I went to a kind of like a training seminar uh, for this fragrance. It was a launch party. And the main notes in this fragrance are grapefruit and blood orange. And I honestly did not know blood orange was an actual fruit until I went to that training seminar because I thought it was just that thing on Tumblr where that guy was like, it's red, you know, but it's a fruit. It's a real thing. So grapefruit and blood orange, it's a citrus scent and I really like it because it's very different from everything Chanel's ever made. If you are familiar with Chanel's fragrances, they have no really citrusy or fruity scents, except for Chance Eau Fraiche, which is more citrus. It's not really sweet at all. Uh, most of their fragrances are very powdery and floral, right? So this is very different and I love it. It's just, it's right up my alley. It's very fresh and light and sweet and I like it a lot for that reason. This is the smaller bottle. This fragrance comes in a few sizes. I know the bigger one is one 17 and the smaller one I think is 88, but I'm not positive. All right, we're done the uh, beauty product segment of my video today. I'm gonna move into technology now. So I've recently invested in a few different pieces of technology and, and video game stuff that I really like. So I'm gonna wait for that car to stop speeding again. I'm gonna shut my window. <gasps> that makes sense, doesn't it? Why did I not think of that earlier? That's so ridiculous, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so technology. I actually invested in a Wii U lately. Oh god. Yeah, Wii U. If you guys watch The Real House Elves of Toronto, the vlog that ALB and I do together, um, you will notice that in the latest episode, episode 3, which I will link to you in a little annotation over here, I searched all over the city for a Wii U, and I found one at a shopper's drug mart that I used to work at near Young and Dundas Square. And I was super excited. So with the Wii U, I got um, Hyrule Warriors, and it came, it was the one that comes pre-installed with um, Super Mario World 3D and Nintendo Land. So it was the first one that came out. Um, I kind of wanted the Splatoon one, but I, it wasn't there. And I was, I'm a really impulsive person. So when I see something I want, I need to have it now. <laughs> so I didn't want to wait to find a Splatoon one, I just wanted it right now. So I'm going to have to buy Splatoon later for $60, but it's okay, it's whatever, $70. I don't know what it is here in Canada, but it's okay. Okay, so I just, I love this game. It's past, like, days of time for me. Oh. Oh, yes. So I've got almost everybody unlocked that you can get from the story, and a few people you can get from the after part of the story. Um, but like I said, Lana's my favorite, and... I don't know, I think she's fantastic. I just love this character. It's hard to see, but if you guys want, like if you like The Legend of Zelda and you are thinking about getting a Wii U, but you're like, I don't know, I don't know, just get the Wii U and get the Zelda. I mean, I know that's kind of really, shh, Point is I have fun on it. I like it a lot. So if you are on the fence about buying Hyrule Warriors, it's a really good fast paced action game. It's not as much about puzzles as the normal Zelda games are, but I think it's really fun. So it's more, it plays more like a Dynasty Warriors game, which I know everybody talks about, but I mean... If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, like a real-time strategy, like, army game. But you're controlling one person. And it's, it's pretty easy to learn, so if you're on the fence, just get it. You'll love it. I also wanted to show you a game on my phone that I've been really into lately. There's actually three I want to show you. I actually take a lot of time commuting to back and back and forth from work. So on the subway, I like to play games on my phone. There's more production things I could be doing, like writing scripts for videos or, I don't know, budgeting myself. But I play video games on my phone instead. So there's three I want to show you. One of them is called Fist of Fury. So I'm just going to... I'm gonna play this in front of you for you. This is a really simple time passing game. Um, basically all you do is you swipe in the direction, I'm gonna turn the volume on, you swipe in the direction of the enemies and you just go for as long as you can and it gets really fast. I don't know, I love it. I've gotten up to I think like 200 before, before I've died, which is not incredibly high mind you, like I don't know what my friends do in this game, but I think it's really fun. It's just mindless 
Oh yeah, that was bad of me. But it's just a mindless kind of like hack and slash game that you can just play with your finger. It's easy. Um, it's called Fist of Fury. It's free on the Apple Store. It's really fun. I think you should check it out if you like time passing games. Another one is called Quest Keeper. This one's also a free game. And if you like fantasy and adventure games like I do, you will love this as like a time passing game. It's a bit more of a time investment because you actually you have to kind of get coins and unlock armor to make other levels easier for you. But um, I'll just show you the easy level for now. Like this is me going through the collect a coins level. And you basically just swipe in the direction you want to walk in and your character cannot stop walking unless you run into like a, like a solid, solid uh, wall. And you essentially have to go for as long as you can. Most levels are 300 blocks. The money getting one is unlimited though because, um, because it is. And basically the more you progress in the levels, and the more you beat the levels, the more survivability you have, so you can defeat harder levels, is the idea. But it's really fun, um, and this is like a really low action version of the game that I'm playing right now. But it's free and it's accessible and I think it's great. So it's called Quest Keeper, and I think it's pretty fun. The last game actually I believe cost 99 cents, I'm not positive how much it costs, but it's called Plague Inc. Like Plague Incorporated, or if you're American, Plague. But we're not here, are we? We're not American, we're Canadian. All right, so Plague Incorporated. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just press play, you make a new game. The object of this game is to kill everybody on the planet. I'm sorry, that sounds really grim, but you kind of, you start, you can only make bacteria at first, but the more you play and the more levels you beat, uh, the more different kinds of diseases you can create. So virus, fungus, parasite, prion, prion? nanovirus or bioweapon. So you create your plague and the idea is you have to evolve it and control it so that you can destroy the whole world with it. The things that get in your way are, for example, people get too afraid of it so the cure is like it has way too much funding and then they just cure it and you're, you lose, right? Another thing that can happen is your disease does not spread fast enough and the people with it die. So you have to make sure that you're kind of balancing between the intensity of it, the, the lethality of it, like how much it kills, and also how much it can infect, like how fast the infectivity is. So it's a cool kind of strategy game. You can play like a fast version that takes about 40 minutes, which is about how long it takes me to get to work for me. Um, or you can just sort of come back and forth from it, and it doesn't run while you're not playing it, so you can just sort of keep a game going for a few days if you wanted to, if you want to take that long. Um, but it's fun, and it's again, it's a 99 cents game, I think, but it really is a good, like, it really takes your time. So my last favorite for the summer and for this video is actually bread. Um, I think bread is a really great thing because you can eat it, or you can put things on it and eat it differently. Um, you can also use it to hurt people because it's like pretty hard, especially when it gets stale. Um, I also think it is just great to walk around with to eat it, like a like a chop, you know, and. Um, I found myself always going to the midnight grocery store when I go home from work. So I just buy a baguette. I just buy some bread every day. And then I eat it with like soup or with cheese or with like a nice vinaigrette. Or just by itself like this. You know, I think bread's really great. I think it's awesome. That's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like some of the things that I also like, especially bread. Um, and I'll see you again soon, I hope. So again, if you want to check out The Real House Elves Episode 3, there's a link in the description box, or you can go back a little bit and it's an annotation earlier. So I'll see you all later. Thank you for coming and visiting with me. Bye!